it's a gold one today beginning of November and winter's just round the corner we got a north wind but after the last hunt with the the gold Celtic, the silver Scottish coin and the, the Saxon brooch we had to come back again, it's only two days ago and the weather's really changed gone from beautiful warm weather to absolutely freezing so back out here top of the world field at Vicarage Farm CTX and the Super Blues and going to make our way up over the ridge again down the other side back onto the area I've been gridding hopefully we can get a few more nice bits and pieces out of there for the five hours we've got or so today it depends on the weather and how last I long is uh, freezing cold wind because unfortunately I forgot my detecting vest with my probe and all my other bits and pieces in so having to uh, make do and 40 minutes from home not worth going back all the way from there so we're just going to get out there and uh, see what we can find my probe's giving up the ghost again anyway so so it'll be just be using the coil to search with so let's get the ctx fired up i'm just going to walk over the top of the hill they're not going to detect this time the well, sooner I get up to that gridding area the better and hopefully the wind noise don't spoil it too much for you guys today because i'm absolutely freezing with this north wind so i'll catch up with you guys on the finds during the day oh well i've just done a 10 meter spiral all the way around where they got the little celtic gold all we've got is one of my little uh, nemesis finds just a copper to washer roof nail. So uh, let's get back up to where we were gridding before. Uh, I think we'll come back in here with a 17 inch coil when it's been seeded and nice and flat and then we'll punch down a bit deeper because the, the clay I dug down here as you can see there about 10 inches down and still not got to the clay so it must be about 14 inches in this spot so definitely a case for the 17 inch coil when it's all seeded. Well we're back on the first run and the uh, gridding patch that we're doing and guess what? It's another musket ball, and another one that looks like it's been dropped. I'm sure there was some guy just making them here, and he's uh, got a bit lackadaisical, probably been on the pop too much. <laughs> well guys, looks like we've got the first coin of the day. Just at this clump here, just on the edge of it. Looks a bit bashed. Well, it could be Roman, looking at this. Yeah, the feel of it, it looks like a Roman Depondius or somewhere around there. Early first century Roman coin, but obviously we'll get that ID'd in the review for you guys. So, first one of the, the hunt today in the gridding area. These are the little signals that you, <laughs> you don't have to miss your probe. We've been chasing around in the plough soil for that for about the last five minutes. Handful after handful. So, uh, might need a new one. I might uh, have a look at these new mind lab probes that are coming out soon with the Equinox. Well, I've been chasing that one around as well in the mud. A little uh, of the Charles or James little Farley in there, a little copper one. I think it's a crown on it, that one. So that's probably a, a Charles one. It was uh, having no probe, and then also <laughs> this wind making my eyes run like mad. It's difficult to see them. Oh guys, it's two o'clock, but it's getting dark and quick today. I've just been chasing around for this little thing here. I'm definitely uh, not missing much when we're getting these tiny little signals. A little bit of a, a buckle. It's only about 10 mil across, if that. Tiny little thing. I'm well, just listening for these uh, humps and grunts in amongst all the iron. And uh, doing quite well. Except for the fines though. <laughs> Yay, sun's back out again. About time. I've just got this dinky little buckle. What the size of that one? It's a little build to that. I love getting little, little finds like this. Little spectacle buckle. We're about 1700s. We've got a pin. And that, just a nice little design on that as well. I've got about a couple of hours to go still. Hopefully with the sun coming out I get the, this extra bit of time, but I know I'll have to be off by four. Oh look at the sun's coming out here to show you better. Get in. Well guys, you can see the shadow's getting long again, we've got this another one of these my favourite mixed tone ones. Let's do that. And without me prob I've been chasing round. I think I've narrowed it down to a couple of little blobs here. 
that one there, that's the one it's got the, you hear that? The deep tone in it. Let's get this up here. So how small it is. You can get the sun on it. So we don't drop it, it's taking me ages to find this bit. Oh, 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 what's that? Oh yes, cut quarter, get in! Do, 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 cut quarter hammy time. <laughs> God, I've been working for that one. I'll tell you what, you don't have to miss your probe when you've got, not got one with you. Yeah, little cut quarter. Top of the world field, never lets me down. Another silver. Tiny little bit, but they all count. So I think that could be a, in, well into the gold now or now, so I've just got one more run to do, then I start getting heading back to the car. I persevered and we got one. Get in. Well guys, listen to that nice clean tone. It's on the, the ridge again, not far away from where we got that big pot leg. And somewhere in there, I just dug it out this hole here, it's only about two or three inches down. Oh, get in! Hey, we've cracked it again! That is a, that looks like a full grow. It is, brilliant! Full flam as well. Get in! There's one to fourth I would say for that one. Wow! <laughs> what was starting to be a very mediocre day has turned into a bloody belter now. Excuse my French. Look at that beauty there. I just love this one. Yeah, it looks like Edward IV, that one. Might be Edward V. But absolutely stonking one. Why is it always in the last hour you get them? <laughs> get in! Hammy time! Do, 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 Hammy time! Get in! Well, definitely the last find. Got about 20 yards to go to the car. Looks like we've got a purse bar, or part of one. Just got a little uh, engraving down one side. That's there, you see that? I'll get that cleaned up. That's probably about 15th century, that one. Well, what a day this has been. I'm still absolutely freezing, so I'm getting back to the car and have a good warm up. Hmm. Well, guys, you see that hole there? Coil's right in there. It's about 9, 10 inches down. Got another coin. This field's going to be the death of me. I'm going to get me into big trouble with the missus. Oh, really dear. What have we got? Oh, hey, have we got another silver just to finish off with? Could this be a triple silver day? Another William. Looks like one. Oh, no, it's a button. <laughs> oh, we got our hopes up then. Right, definitely the last find now. I better get home. So I'll catch up with you guys at the review. Oh, that was a gold one. I was <laughs> absolutely freezing on top of that hill, but we're there, made up for it in the finds in the end. It's uh, maybe a little short review of this one. We didn't get quantity of finds today, but we did get some nice bits of quality from them. And still buzzing from <laughs> last hunt, oh dear. But we did uh, go and have another look, see if there was any more there while well, there was a bit of light in the day. I uh, spent an hour just spiralling around where we got that little stator out, but nothing else there. We just got another of those uh, nemesis of mine. These uh, roofing nails, uh, there's quite a few of them around that area now. So I think it's definitely been a building or buildings there in the past. And possibly looking at the, the finds we've been getting, there's been a lot of occupation on top of that hill. So what did we get today? Well, we've got the usual little bits of lead, lots of that. A few shotties, a few little uh, copper nails. Uh, on the finds point of view, very sparse today, the keepers. It says uh, we're starting to get to the end of the hot spot. I think we might just get one more run in there and then we'll cover the area unless something else picks up. But we did get a couple of uh, nice bits. Got this bit of uh, what I thought was just a bit of tin. It's actually when you put the silver paper on it, it smells of the rotten egg, so it's definitely silver. I think that's probably been a covering off something, but there's no hallmarks on it or anything, so very difficult to say what that was off. Uh, five buttons. Top of a tobacco jar by the looks of things. Uh, a couple of bullets, obligatory musket ball. <laughs> Let's see if you get one, one or two every time we go up there now. A uh, little uh, clothes fastener, a watch winder. I'm not quite convinced which one it is. 
Uh, two coins, a little farther, the Charles. Uh, the penny in what could be a, a, dip, a very, very badly damaged upon this Roman coin. And we got four nice little finds points today. Uh, first one we got was the little uh, purse bar. Well, that's probably medieval, sort of like 14, 15, 16th century, that one. We then got the uh, lovely little spectacle uh, buckle. I love finding these little things. And this one's only about three quarters of an inch across. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've got the little quarter, silver. Uh, that's probably from sort of like Henry the Third time back to, to John through Richard, Henry the Second. Some of them were in that period because they tended to cut the coins up in, in those days, so the shortage just small change. And then we finished off with this lovely uh, big groat, absolute mintery as well, by the looks of things. Not cleaned it up yet. And probably an Edward the Fourth looking at it. He always seems to have the most decorative of, of the groats. Beautiful. So. Vicarage Farm never lets us down. Uh, we're doing quite well in there this year and not really got into the main detecting season when everything's sort of like rolled and seeded for ideal conditions. Uh, it's just been all scuffed up so far. So we're scouting around, trying to find some more hot spots for the spring. So I'll get these cleaned up now. Let you uh, see them in all their glory. So happy hunting to you all. Thank you for all your kind comments on that last video. Uh, I, I was really amazed when I found out now. I just got to uh, speak to the landowner and decide what we're going to do with that coin. I'd love to keep it in my collection, but it might be beyond my means. So we'll see what we'll have to do. So, happy hunting from your very happy pal, Mal. <laughs> and catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.